क्लास एट चैप्टर ट्वेल्व साउंड चूज द करेक्ट आंसर साउंड कैन ट्रैवल थ्रू सॉलिड्स लिक्विड्स एंड गैसेस वाइस ऑफ फीच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज लाइकली टू हैव ए मिनिमम फ्रीक्वेंसी ए मैन वाइस नेक्स्ट टू विल सी ट्रू और फॉल्स साउंड कैन नॉट ट्रैवल इन वैक्यूम इट इज ट्रू The number of oscillations per second of a vibrating object is called a time period. If the amplitude of vibration is low, sound is feeble. For human ears, the audible range is twenty hertz to twenty thousand hertz. The lower the frequency of vibration, the higher is the pitch. False. Unwanted or pleasant sound is termed as music. False. Noise pollution may cause partial hearing impairment. True. Time taken by an object to complete one oscillation is called time period. Loudness is determined by the amplitude of vibration. The unit of frequency is hertz. Unwanted sound is called noise. Shrillness of sound is determined by the frequency of vibration. Next. Answer the following: A pendulum oscillates forty times in four seconds. Find its time period and frequency. Frequency equal to number of oscillations time taken, forty by four ten hertz. Time period one by f one by ten point one seconds. The sound from a mosquito is produced when it vibrates its wings at an average rate of five hundred vibrations per second. What is the time period of the vibration? F equal to 500 hertz. T equal to 1 by F, 1 by 500, 0.002 seconds. Lightning and thunder take place in the sky at the same time and at the same distance from us. Lightning is seen earlier and thunder is heard later. Can you explain why? Speed of sound in air is 334 meter per second. Speed of light in air is 3 lakh kilometer per second. Now, since light travels faster than thunder, lightning is seen earlier and thunder is heard later. Next question. So we'll move. Identify the part which vibrates to produce sound in the following instruments: dholak, stretched membrane; sitar, stretched string; flute. Air column. Next, we'll see. What is the difference between noise and music? Can music become sometimes uh, become noise sometimes? Unwanted, unpleasant sounds are called noise, and the pleasant and enjoyable sounds are called music. Noise causes harm to the ears, but music does not cause harm to the ears. Sounds of musical instrument like sitar, flute, and table are the examples of music, and the sounds of vehicles, loudspeakers, and machines are the examples of noise. Music can become noise if it is played too loud. If you yet not subscribed to our channel, kindly subscribe. We'll move to next question now. List the sources of noise pollution is harmful to human vehicles bursting of crackers machines and loudspeakers and kitchen appliances tv and transistors radio at high volumes air conditioners at home are the sources of noise pollution that is harmful to humans these sources are harmful to humans your parents are going to buy a house house they have been offered one on the roadside and another lanes Away from the roadside and another three lanes away from the roadside. We will see next. Means which one is which house you prefer to buy? Which house would you suggest your parents should buy? Closer to roadside or more the noise, higher or more the noise pollution. So, 
I would suggest my parents to take a house three lanes away from the roadside because the noise pollution is somewhat lesser there. Next question. Sketch larynx and explain its functions in your own words. In humans, the sound is produced by the voice box or the larynx. This part of the body is known as the voice box. Is it? It is at the upper end of the windpipe. Two vocal cords are stretched across the voice box or larynx in such a way that it leaves a narrow slit between them for a passage of air. When the lungs force air through the slit, the vocal cords vibrate, producing sound. Muscles that are attached to the vocal cords can make the cords tight or loose. When the vocal cords are tight and thin, the type or the quality of voice is different from that when they are loose and thick. See the diagram also. Voice box or larynx in humans. A simple diagram student has written, drawn. Now explain in what way noise pollution is harmful to human. Presence of excessive noise in the surroundings may cause many health related problems like lack of sleep, hypertension, high blood pressure, high anxiety and many more health disorders may be caused by noise pollution. A person who is exposed to a loud sound continuously may get temporary or even permanent impairment of hearing. In this way, noise pollution is harmful to human. Some notes we will see. Sound is produced by vibrating objects. It is a form of energy which produces a sensation of hearing in our ears. Vibration is a rapid back and forth movement of the body about its mean position. The substance or matter through which sound is transmitted is called a medium. The medium can be solid, liquid or gas. Sound cannot travel in vacuum. It needs a medium. The medium can be solid, liquid or gas. Sound cannot travel in vacuum. The speed with which sound waves travel depends on the nature and density of the medium. Sound travels fastest in solids, slower in liquids and slowest in gases. Terms related to sound waves. Sound travels in the form of waves. Waves are characterized by three basic quantities that is uh, frequency, amplitude and time period. Properties of sound. Amplitude, the maximum distance moved by the particles on either side of the mean position represents the amplitude of the sound. Time period. Time period of a sound wave refers to the time taken by a particle of the medium to complete one vibration. It is measured in seconds. See the diagram also, how time period and amplitude is shown here. Now, frequency. The number of oscillations completed in one second is called the frequency of of vibration. It is expressed in hertz. Characteristic of sound. Sounds are generally characterized by loudness, pitch, quality. That is timbre. Next. Characteristics of sound. Sounds are generally characterized by loudness, pitch, quality. Loudness of sound is proportional to the square of its amplitude. Loudness proportional to amplitude square. Larger the amplitude, the louder will be the sound. The SI unit for the measurement of loudness of sound is decibel. A high frequency sound will have the high pitch whereas a low frequency sound will have a low pitch. Quality or timbre is the characteristic of a sound that enables us to distinguish between two sounds of the same pitch and loudness produced by two different Sources. These sounds of characteristics of sounds, uh, of sounds are important. We should remember. Next, 
एडिबल एंड इन एडिबल साउंड द साउंड हुज फ्रीक्वेंसी लाइज बिटवीन ट्वेंटी हर्ट्स टू ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड हर्ट्स विच वे आर एबल टू हियर इज कॉल्ड एडिबल साउंड द साउंड इन ऑडिबल फॉर ह्यूमन्स हैविंग फ्रीक्वेंसी लेस दैन ट्वेंटी हर्ट्स और नोन एज इंफ्रासोनिक साउंड द साउंड हैविंग फ्रीक्वेंसी मोर दैन ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड हर्ट्स आर नोन एज अल्ट्रासोनिक साउंडस see educational videos from class 6 to 10th in our channel kindly subscribe to our channel and see more videos thank you